So I was born in, in Denmark, on the west coast of Denmark, in a very international family. My mother American, my father was a language teacher, I had three siblings, and really this, this scenery on the Danish coastline is one that sort of really lives in me, and I'm a bird watcher to boot, so that's just part of me. But at the age of 13, I came to the UK, and um, that's where I went to the Waldorf School, uh, Steiner Waldorf School nearby. And there I really found my love of the arts. So drama, painting, music, these things were really instilled in me, uh, along with a, a feeling of confidence that after leaving school, I could just go into the world, travel, and wait to find what it was I really wanted to do. And by that time, I had three clear aims, somehow through my travels, very clearly formulated in, inside me. One being that I wanted to learn how to learn, Secondly, I wanted to attain self-discipline. And thirdly, whatever I was going to choose to do, I wanted to do for the love of it. And what happened was that music chose me and it ticked all the boxes and it still does. And I can't say it without tingling all over because it, is, it really is the case. So and at that point, I decided I was going to study composition. I had a period of self-study. After a while, I then went to Germany, to Hamburg, to study composition and piano, and amongst other musical subjects, at what's now called the Alfred Schnittke Academy. And after graduating there, five years later, I had a, already a small family, my wife and two children so far. Um, but I started a secondary career of teaching uh, music in adult education, which really uh, was a, a means by which to explore further the way in which music and the human being relate to each other. And that subject is one that just keeps burning hotter and hotter and more and more brightly, really. <laughs> conviction for, for teaching anybody, any human being, is that really it is a human right to take part in a musical process. It's a human need, but it's a human right as well. And so I try to overcome whatever traumas are there in some people who've been told not to sing or not to do music because they are unmusical. No, I don't believe in that. It, it's everybody has a right. As a performer, I myself, uh, I, I teach, I'm sorry, I play piano, I play guitar, I sing. And I conduct. And yeah, to come back to this, uh, what drives me in the music uh, it, it is my interest, my, my, my wanting to uncover and discover this intimate relationship between music and the human being through the study of the elements of music and through the study of the human being as well. So these two things come together. And that is really the passion that drives me to commit to perform international and, and want to awaken the potential in this unique performing arts training that we're setting up. And um, yeah, we're going to be working with prose and, and, and poetry and drama of a, from a range of different languages uh, in the European sort of basin, so to speak, and, and look to awaken and find the inner voice of the students that come to learn with us. <laughs> 